I think if I had to describe the game in a nutshell for me, it is, it's where I find my passion has done since I've walked into a practice when I was probably 10. It's a game that's in my blood, it's part of me now, and it always will be. My eldest brother, Tony, got into cricket and we had the backyard and it had like an entry at the bottom, which we, Tony would play with us in there. So when we went to then went to school, they said about cricket, we knew something about it, no one knew, until we were quite good. And that got me going. And then I went to, my club was Mac, Mac Cricket Club. And just generally, I fell in love with the game. And then my last year at school, the school played the MCC. And from that, got a trial at the MCC grounds for. And literally, was only there literally two months and then got signed by Worcester. I'd, I'd have gone anywhere to play, if I'm honest, because I just love playing. And what, what happened then as a pro player, you tended to go abroad and play. And my first overseas trip went to Zimbabwe with um, Graham Hick and then went to South Africa, did some coaching out there, then came back. It was six month contracts. So in the winters you worked anyway, or you went abroad. So then I started, I'd done all sorts of jobs from postman to all sorts. And then actually started coaching in the winters. It's never changed for me, the, the sort of draw of watching people get better. And you'll see that all the time. And we've seen it with, you know, Luke Fletcher is a guy who's, he's been around the game a long time, but he's still getting better. And it goes all the way up to the international guys, James Anderson. What makes James Anderson James Anderson is he keeps looking to get better. You, you come across exceptional people, I think, when you, when you work in elite sports, one of the gifts you get back. You know, I was really lucky when I went on to the, to the, the academy job after Rod Marsh. In that first intake, we had People like Stuart Borden, Alistair Cook, Ian Bell was around. A lot of these guys went to play 100 test matches. Stuart's an interesting one because really Stuart, I haven't seen him when he very first came in. Now, four years on, I'm still coaching him. We just played Sussex. Matt Pryor coached him first, I think he was 12. And I was a player. And then this lad came, I remember going home to my wife and saying, if I'm still playing when he's 18, I, don't, I think he's going to take my spot. To me, it's really exciting when you get, you see somebody early and then you see them make their test debut. I, you know, I was lucky enough to be the coach who gave Matt his test debut. Winning the championship at Sussex was a, was, a, it was a really special one because I remember going to lunch and a, an old member stopped me, he must have been 85, and he said, I've waited all my life for this moment, thank you. England was a great moment that when, you, when you're given recognition to go and coach for England and work with the best players. And different countries, you know, Lancashire was, I love my time at Lancs. But the thought of coaching your country, um, and in some ways have another go at it, I was ready for it, if I'm honest, I was a good coach. It was a tough time for English cricket, we just lost five in the Nashes, both times I'd taken him, we, we, it was a transition period, and new transitions. We brought a lot of players in at that point who went on and again had great careers. When you come out of a job like that, like most things, you're a bit bruised and bad, but eventually I look and say, well, the game doesn't owe me anything. And obviously at the moment I'm at not, and I've found this as enjoyable as any coaching I've ever done, I think. And it's sort of like, it's got an energy and a drive about it, which is, is nice to be involved. I'd love to win another championship with that team, as with the team. It isn't finished yet. 